to some, the flat West Texas Permian Basin seems a most unlikely place to find inspiration or artistic motivation. But for others, this big sky and endless horizon are exactly the things that open the mind and erase the limits of one's own potential. How's it going? I'm Jamie. Nice to meet you, Jamie. Uh, Debbie. Nice, nice to meet you, Debbie. You. Hey. Marley. Marley? Nice to meet you, Marley. Are we getting a picture? We are Let's get one. Let's get one. I believe there's a, well, well, I believed wrong. Maybe it's on the other side. About once every year, okay, sculptors, so poets, and artists gather for the Lubbock yeah, Arts yeah, Festival. Yeah, yeah. And this year, the busiest booth in the show belongs to guest artist and West Texas native, Baron Batch. I don't know if they have any left framed. Possibly they do. It always starts with a story. I feel like if it doesn't have a story, it doesn't mean much to me. When I was a little kid growing up, I was always like the creative kid, okay? Uh, and would draw on on everything, everything I could find. When I was in church, I'd scribble on all the little prayer cards and stuff. I remember this old lady would sit behind the pew behind me and I'd always just hear like the, the finger flicking sound just right by my head. And I was just like, and she was like, quit drawing on everything, boy. And uh, you know, but I, I just loved to draw. Um, could never afford paint or really like markers or stuff like that, but would just have a pencil and draw on anything. <laughs> It was just an old, rundown, just trailer house. It was uh, out in the middle of nowhere. You know, me and my siblings and I were, were packed into it. And uh, my mom uh, was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis when I was around nine or 10. And, um, and after that, you know, it kind of uh, progressed to the point where uh, she, had, she had to go to a nursing home. And uh, she was in the home. And at this point, you know, my siblings and I are kind of, um, just raising ourselves in a way. My dad's out of the picture. Uh, we're kind of raising ourselves in ninth grade. Uh, my mom passes away. And at this point, uh, I'm just like the most angry kid you could ever imagine. The chaos that consumed Barron's childhood is reflected in his paintings, but it wasn't art that got him through the turmoil. I wasn't always the biggest, the fastest, the strongest, but I was always the absolute meanest guy out on the field every time. After breaking records at Midland High, it was 2006 and Baron Batch wore the red and black of Texas Tech. Then on to the NFL with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Then we come back here to play the Cowboys and that's my first game back up on the active roster. Play the Cowboys end up losing, uh, go back to Pittsburgh. The next week we're playing the Bengals and I shatter my arm in three places. Um, I shatter my humerus. And, and once again, I was just like, really, like for real? And at the same time, it was just like, have faith, things will, will work out. After a year in the NFL and a career plagued by injuries, Barron found it was painting that stopped the pain. It eliminated all the other distractions and all the other things, and maybe not distractions, but just the stuff that was going on in, in my life. It was kind of like how football was my refuge for so long, like painting kind of became that thing that was, was like this place of solitude. So when I'm in the zone and I'm painting, I'm creating, it's just like, just like peaceful. Hi, Baron. Hey, how's it going? Kevin Robertson. Nice to meet you. Hey, Gary. what's going on? Nice to meet you. To Jim Bob. To Jim Bob. J I M B O B. <laughs> All right. You don't mind if your head's cut off, do you? Hunter, how old are you, man? Twelve. Thanks for coming out. That is a piece of me. You know, I put a lot. Of, I put a lot of thought into that. But at the same time, it's it's cool to to be able to to sell things and have people enjoy it. If you want to take a peek, each one of these, um, there's a there's a there's a story. For the most part, it's been really cool to see people that will go look at a piece of art that I created and read the story behind it. And and there's you know there's been people that come up to me in tears. You know that they're just like this this speaks to me. And whether that's everybody or whether that's just one person. That's what it's about. That's that's why you know I wanted to do this and I wanted to share my art is to impact people. Look at this. 
Will that work? Yes. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a great show. Absolutely. Thank Good you. Good luck to you. Thanks. A lot of people go through things and uh, they're hard and a lot of people try really hard to forget those things. But for me, um, those are things that I, I value more than, than anything. Painting may have helped him heal, but it couldn't bring back the screaming crowds, packed stadiums, and adrenaline charged jaunts into the end zone. Number 20 may have been dropped from the roster, but Baron Batch has found his place in the art world, scoring points with collectors and building a base for his life off the field and on to the canvas. Wondering if you're ever coming back to Lubbock again. I will be back in Lubbock maybe in a couple months. Legacies are, are left through people, you know, through the people that you invest in, through the lives you touch, through the, the way you make people feel. And I mean, really, that's what I, if I was gonna say I'd want to leave a legacy, that's what I'd want it to be is, you know, people say, you know, Baron invested his time, cared, and, and left his fingerprint on my life in a certain way, whether it was through his art, whatever it was. Cool guys.